In this video, I'm gonna share 10 elevated closet essentials you can wear now in the spring that I promise you're gonna love. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanna talk about some elevated closet essentials. These are a little different than the wardrobe basics that if you're a regular viewer, you know I always talk about. Those are those foundational pieces that without which your wardrobe won't function, kind of like your home, you need a solid foundation. Your wardrobe needs those solid basics in order to function. These are almost like a next level. They're a nice to have, but they're also very versatile. They're also very wearable. They're also pieces that are gonna be heavy hitters in your wardrobe and I think they all have interesting details that will make them exciting to wear because for me personally when something has an elevated detail like a little ruffle collar a puff shoulder I'm much more likely to wear it than if it doesn't it's more exciting to me many of these essentials are from Banana Republic which I don't know if you've been on their site lately but wow it's definitely elevated in every sense of the word and the quality of the garments that you're ordering now is definitely next next level make sure you pop over to bananarepublic.com and check out their website a lot of these pieces are from the site this video is sponsored by banana republic i only partner with brands and businesses that i love so huge thank you to banana republic for sponsoring this video let's get started the first essential that i want to share with you is this white sweater it's called the tavati geometric cropped sweater in crew neck what i love about a white sweater for now into spring I think it's an essential for sure is that it's incredibly versatile You can choose the shade of white based on your skin tone and what works best for your skin tone Whether it's a bright bright white or whether it's more like this like a cream white I love this sweater for a few reasons. I love the geometric design which makes it a little more interesting I love that it's cropped So if you are petite or you have a shorter torso or you just want to wear like a high-waisted skirt or high-waisted pants The crop sweater really will allow you to do that with without you know needing to be tucked or folded or any kind of hair tie hack with it. The crop sweater just hangs and you don't have to worry about the bulk of tucking it in. So I wanted to show you just how versatile a white sweater can be and give you a few outfit examples. By the way, a lot of the pieces, this is almost like a mini capsule wardrobe. A lot of the pieces are all in the same color family. They all mix and match beautifully. So you'll see a lot of the same pieces over and over again in the video. So here's an example of the white sweater with a pair of moussey jeans that I've had for a while and some tall knee high suede boots. These I'll talk more about in a minute. These are in like a beige tone, really pretty. So this is really a great classic look, but because of the details it feels a little extra special like the design on the sweater the jeans are really cool they have a really modern wash on the jeans and then of course the boots add a lot of pop as well another option could be with your white sweater you could even wear it with jean shorts like something that simple like I love that combination really I love that combination into summer too so like spring and summer just throw on a really fresh white sweater with your jean shorts pair of sandals boom that's like a great outfit another way you could style the white sweater is with a pair of trousers so in this example I'm wearing a pair of tan cargo trousers you could do black trousers you could do like olive green or khaki you know whatever trouser color that you have but that's a really nice Nice way also to wear a sweater especially in the spring you could wear this to the office it just has a lot of versatility the sweater could also be worn over a dress it would also look really awesome with white pants or jeans you know just mixing tones and textures so the white sweater is definitely an essential and I think it will be something that you wear over and over and over again even if you live in a warmer climate I think you're gonna wear that lightweight white sweater by the way if you really want Want to drill down on those wardrobe basics and figure out what it is exactly that you need I did do a course it's called style made simple we'll put a link in the description box below you should check it out it's awesome it's there for you if you need it I think you'll find that it's a really worthwhile investment moving on to number two the white shirt so actually a white button down is on my basic basic list but I wanted to show you an example of an elevated basic white button down this one is the harper ruffle shirt from banana republic and i just love the neckline of this i think it adds some drama it's so feminine it almost has like a little bit of a victorian 
slash western spin to it with the ruffles. I just really love this look so much. It has a little puff shoulder. It's got a little ruffle at the cuff. It's a beautiful blouse that you'll wear over and over and over again. You can layer it, but it has these details that make it a little extra special. Here again, I wanted to show you a couple of different options for this white shirt. The first one is the white shirt with a pair of exaggerated denim trousers. These are a wide leg jean. I'm going to talk more about these in a minute with a cream studded waist belt, some cream pointed toe boots. And this is a very chic and very basic and accessible look, but still feels fresh and unexpected because of the details, because of the shape of the jeans, because of the details on the blouse, because of the details on the belt just is special. Here's another option, white shirt with the same jeans I showed you in look number one, again, a waist belt, some white booties. I'm going to talk more about these in a minute and a really cool boucle white jacket. Speaking of the boucle jacket, that is actually essential number three a jacket for spring. You need a really versatile, beautiful jacket or coat for spring. Now on my basics list, I think I have a trench coat, but here's an example of something that could really be very versatile, wearable, fits seamlessly into your wardrobe, but it's a little bit different. It's a little bit special. It's a little bit unique. It's unexpected. Again, this one is called the Finola boucle cargo jacket and it's in a color cream white. So you can belt this cargo jacket, which is a really cool look and looks very sort of out of Africa. I think <laughs> that's a really old movie. You know what the, a more recent cool reference is this show on Paramount Plus called 1923. I don't know if you guys are watching it, but there are these scenes in Africa from the show and one of the characters, she's got like blonde curly hair and she's wearing this beautiful dreamy outfit, like khaki pants, white silky blouse, boots. Anyway, it has me totally inspired. I want to wear like everything in this color palette now. The tan and the cream and the khaki, all cargo, military inspired, just really cool. This boucle jacket has cargo pockets, but I think what's unexpected about it is the fact that you can belt it. It's the color. It's in this cream white. It's also the fabrication. Like it's not your prototypical cargo jacket or, or utility jacket. It's boucle. It is really warm. I love the jacket worn open and just tying that little waist belt in the back. I think that's probably going to be more practical because it does take a little bit of time, you know, to belt it. So I'm going to wear this mostly open open in the spring. It feels really fresh in this color to me. And again, I'm wearing that over the same blouse I just showed you, the ruffle blouse, some really cool tapered jeans, and a pair of white wedge cream booties. I'm moving on to the next essential. I have on our list a pair of wide leg jeans. So if you've got your basics covered, I'm assuming you already have a great pair of straight leg jeans. You probably already have a pair of dark wash skinny jeans. And so so I think a great addition to your wardrobe this season going into spring summer would be a pair of quite special, unique, more wide leg jeans. This example is actually a pair that looks more like trousers and I love this look so, so much. They're pleated. The way the pleats are, it doesn't add volume to your tummy. I feel like these are the perfect denim trousers for the office casual Friday because they really do look like trousers versus jeans. And I think they're so flattering and beautiful and sophisticated. I just love these jeans so much. I paired these jeans with the white ruffle button down top that I showed you earlier and a cool cream belt that's studded. By the way, we will put links to everything as per usual in the description box below. Next up, I wanted to share these cargo pants. Ah, I love them so much. We've been in the phase of like joggers and skinny jeans. And I just feel like these are such a cool alternative to both of those categories. They feel fresh and modern, but they still feel very neutral, versatile, wearable, accessible. The other really cool thing about these pants is that they come in tall, regular, short, and petite. So you're like, well, isn't petite and short the same thing? Mm-mm. No. So for me, I actually got the short 
because when you order petite sizing, if you've ever ordered anything petite, you know that you traditionally have to size up like one complete full size. So like where normally I'm maybe a four in a petite, I'm gonna order a six. So what I did was I ordered my regular size and I ordered them in short so that the inseam length is a little shorter. So I wanted to really be able to wear them with heels or with strappy sandals or with pumps or with booties. And I felt like a little shorter on the inseam length would be better for me with these pants. And I'm really so, so pleased that I did. Now, in contrast, if you're really tall, they have the tall inseam length too. So that's kind of one of the beautiful things about Banana Republic. They really are inclusive with the sizing in terms of height. By the way, with these pants, I am wearing that same cropped white sweater that's so pretty and some white wedge boots which I'll talk more about in a minute. For those of you really interested in sizes, everything that I got is either a small or a four and then in the pants I got for short, not petite for short. Next up we have a little black dress. It's actually the one I have on right now. It's called the Mari Poplin Ruffle Mini Dress. 100% cotton. I love cotton poplin, especially as we head into spring. It's very lightweight. It's very breathable. It's silky on the skin. It also doesn't wrinkle as easily as regular cotton. It's just really wonderful. It's lovely to travel with as well. So this little dress is so cute. I love, again, the pop collar and the ruffle collar, the puff shoulder, the little ruffle at the sleeve. It adds some interest and then it's very giving in the body. You know, you can wear it just out and loose or you could belt it. Here I've got it paired with those same boots I showed you earlier, the suede boots, which I'll talk more about in a minute. It's just a really cool piece belted or not. I think you can do a lot of different things with this black dress, plus a black dress in the spring. So essential. Just throw it on. You'll definitely wear it. I mean, I say in the spring, but you'll definitely wear it into summer too, especially this piece. And it's a great piece for summer because it's not clingy. It just really allows you to breathe, you know, especially in the heat or if you run hot because of menopause, but it also has the sleeves, which is really nice as well. The next essential I want to show you is a denim dress. So in contrast to the one I just showed you, this dress is actually much much thicker, has more structure to it, more heft to it, and it's heavier. So if you run particularly hot or if you're in a very hot climate, you may not like this denim dress. You may want more of like a chambray, like lightweight denim dress versus this has got, this has got some serious structure to it. The nice part about the structure is it's going to really cover any lumps and bumps and make you feel very secure in the piece. You know, when I first put it on, I was like, ah, I don't know, you know, but as I sort of belted it and popped the collar a little bit, I was like, wow, this is a really cool piece. I love this dress so much and we're in Colorado. I'll wear this all the time. It's very Colorado. I could wear it with cowboy boots. Here I've got it paired with those same suede boots I just showed you. They're called the Tory. I really love that this dress has that structure and that it also has the long sleeves. It's a nice option for spring and I think you couldn't, depending on you know your work environment, you could wear this to the office. It is a little bit on the shorter side so that's a consideration but it would be so great for dinners, errands, popping out, lunches, anything that you have going on. I think it's a really versatile piece that also feels quite special, quite different, quite unique. This dress, by the way, is called the Mia denim dress. It's 100% cotton, again, a much thicker cotton, and we will put a link to it below in the description box. Next up, we have the knee-high suede boots that I just showed you. These are called the Tory suede boots. And what I love about these boots, for me in particular, and certainly it's going to depend on your skin tone. But for me, this color is awesome to wear with dresses. So I just showed it with the cotton poplin dress. I showed it with the denim dress. I also showed these tall boots over some tapered leg jeans. That's, you know, always a go-to that you could pull out in the spring. So the knee-high boot, it may feel like they kind of have taken a back seat, but they're really always around. They never go out of style, especially like a beautiful classic almond-shaped toe like these. And then what I also love about these boots are the very small manageable heel. It's like an inch and a half, which, you know, for heels is pretty small. So they're very comfortable. They're easy to get on and easy to get off. Again, that skin tone looks great with dresses if you have a lighter skin tone. Before we move on to the next piece, I just wanted to remind all of you that as you are kind of picking out pieces to add strategically to your wardrobe, you want to make sure that you are thinking about how do I want to feel in this? And I've talked a lot about this 
recently or how do I want to feel? That is really the cornerstone or the lens through which you should look at buying every single piece that you buy. I mean, it's your hard earned money. It's how you're presenting yourself to the world. So you don't just want to go out and get things for the sake of it, to check a box because, oh, I need a white t-shirt or whatever. Like really put some thought and care and time into it. And I swear the more strategy that you put behind it and the more kind of heart that you put behind it, the better you're going to feel about your purchase and the more you're going to wear that item. If you just grab and go, you're not going to wear it. It's just going to hang in your closet or you're going to wear it and you're not going to be excited about it or you're going to wear it. It's not going to make you feel good. You really want to be thinking about wearing pieces that make you feel something, feel special, feel unique, feel modern, feel trendy, feel beautiful, feel powerful, feel elegant, feel sophisticated, feel risky, risque. It needs to make you feel something. So always look at your shopping through that lens. Are cargo pants for you? I don't know. Only you can tell. Is that something that's exciting to you? Maybe you watch 1923 like I did and you're like, yes, I need some, I need a whole African wardrobe here. <laughs> Is the ruffle neck poplin dress for you? I don't know. I love ruffles. I love pop collars. I love the drama that this brings, but that may not be you and that may not make you feel good wearing it. So you have to really be thinking about what it is that you want, how you want to feel and how you want to present yourself to the world. I did do a video about really kind of figuring out your personal style on a deep level. And I hope that after this video, you will go back and watch that one because I think it's really powerful. And I do a whole exercise in that video that helps you identify how you want to feel and how you want to look. And so I think that's a great one to watch after this one. Next step, I'm adding white booties and not just any white booties, but these white booties. These are a pointed toe with a wedge heel in more of an ivory tone. They're very comfortable. They're also a sock booty shape, which means they're fitted to the legs. And I love sock booties because you can really wear them with skirts and dresses so much more easily than a boot that really does have some space around the calf. The fitted nature of the booty makes them so much more dressy, so much more sophisticated. So I have this pair now in white that I'm really excited about. Shown you guys a zillion times my black sock booties. I've worn those over and over and over again and I can already see I'm gonna wear these white ones a ton. I think you've seen them peppered throughout this entire video, styled a bunch of different ways. They're incredibly versatile, incredibly neutral. They also feel really fresh, modern, unexpected. So again, it has that excitement factor that I was talking about before that I think, you know, we all really crave and love. One of the musts for booties in general, unless it's an easy pull on pull off for me, is a side zip. I think that's so handy and so much easier to deal with. Now these, I just showed you, they're not, they don't have a side zip, but they're wide enough that it's super easy to get in and out of these, even over jeans, they were so easy. By the way, as I talk about spring, I'm literally looking out my window at so much snow, it's unimaginable. <laughs> We've just been getting dumped on here in Colorado, which is awesome for skiing, but it is kind of like funny to be talking about spring. So the last piece I wanted to show you guys is this belt. And I do think that for spring, you know, in my basics, I talk about having one reversible belt as your foundational piece and one side brown, one side black. Again, I did the course. So if you want to dive into the course, you can, we'll put a link below. But this one feels like the next step to me. And that is a really neutral beige tone with an extra little added detail. So you can see the studs along the top and the bottom, which I really love. I love the buckle too. It has this Western feel to it, but it's like Western light. It's like Western chic. And so I live in Colorado. It's a lot of Western clothes floating around. I don't know if you guys remember when I was in Madrid, Spain, I talked about Western being huge there. Like there were cowboy boots in every single shoe store. Western is massive right now. You don't have to live in Texas or Colorado to wear Western clothes anymore. Like it's very, very in. So I just love this belt so much. It goes with the whole like color palette. It feels like part of the capsule, but it's very versatile, very neutral, wearable. I showed this to you guys with those white leg jeans. I showed it with the, the regular, more tapered leg jeans. I love that this belt is long enough so I can wear it around the hips, but then I can also adjust it to wear it around the waist so that provides 
maximum versatility. It truly is amazing and remarkable how like one piece, like something as simple as a belt can add so much pop to your look, can make everything look so much more intentional and thoughtful and pulled together. And then the belt has the added ability to really create a waist. And if you're worried about like the sides, you can always like untuck your shirt a little bit on the sides, just highlight the belt in the front. Like there are little tricks and hacks that you can use to really highlight the belt and still like do the things you wanna do to make you feel the most comfortable and confident. One other piece that you saw throughout the video, I didn't have it on the top 10 list, but I think it is definitely really cool, versatile, wearable is this ring, also from Banana Republic. I just love it. It's so sculptural and pretty and beautiful. And I think you could wear it every single day if you want to. So let's recap, which piece was your favorite? Was it the white cropped geometric sweater, the Harper ruffle shirt, the boucle white jacket, the wide leg jeans, the cargo pants, the little black dress, the denim dress, the knee high boots, the white booties, or the belts. Please share your favorite in the comments below. Huge thank you again to Banana Republic for sponsoring this video. Don't you just love all of these pieces? I'm like just so energized by them. <laughs> I need to go on a trip in the desert, wear my cargo pants. I love when that happens. You find some really cool pieces and then it sort of inspires things in your life. If you like this video and you haven't already hit that subscribe button, I hope you'll subscribe. If you've already subscribed, don't forget to hit the notification bell because our schedule is going to be a little bit more in flow and flux. And also I would greatly appreciate it if you would share my channel over on your Facebook page or with friends. We just love welcoming in new amazing women like you to the community and would really appreciate your help in spreading the word about our channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.